Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at upgrading the HP MV15 AH151SA laptop. Um, this guide should also apply to other MV15 based machines, so same chassis but different internals in some of those. And everything on this is done from the back of the machine, so we're going to flip it over, and all we need for this is our pry tool and a small crosshead screwdriver. So we are going to start by just going round all the screws on this. It's a metal chassis and there are no covers over the screws. Um, so it's just a case of going round. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws holding the back on the chassis. So we are going to go through and remove each of these in turn. Um, so the four screws on the front are shorter, the rest are longer. Not really too hard to remember that, but as always I'm just putting them up the top here in the same basic pattern as they were removed from the machine just to save any mix-ups. Onto the back row. And last one there. And now we just need, so the easiest way I've found to separate the chassis, going around the front because it sits in this lip doesn't really work, just take the plastic pry tool and by sliding it in here you can lever it against the sort of screen section. And if we start on the end, we should be able to pop that out there and then just work along popping up the clips and to the end and then if we lift and one more on the end and with that all of those released we should now simply be able to lift one more at the end there There we go, with that done we can now lift the back panel and that just folds forward giving us access to inside the machine. Now here we can see second DIMM slot, we're going to put an extra memory module in there to help with uh, integrated graphics performance and the hard drive is held in here. Um, so to get access to this we actually need, there is one hidden screw underneath the battery so we need to undo this clip here, pull out this cable and easiest thing to do, just it's, adhe it's adhered to the battery so just lift that up, we then have a number of screws here uh, five screws holding the battery, this one is hidden a bit underneath the wires but you can get access to it without having to do too much other, you know, just lift it up, helps that this screwdriver is magnetised which means you can just Pop the screw out like so. Then we have two in these corners. I'm not sure if you can necessarily see them with the angle the camera's at. And one more here. And we don't actually need to completely remove the battery. We just want to lift it and twist it out the way like so. Now we can get access to this screw for the hard drive. There are two hidden around the back here. They are, they have the speaker cable running over the actual screws, um, but you should 
be able to get everything out without having to actually remove the speaker or move the wire. So with the four screws holding the hard drive in, we now just need to lift it slightly. Ah. We also have to unpeel this bit of tape that connects to the hard drive caddy and the chassis, lift the drive out and that frees the drive and then we simply unplug the little SATA, little SATA cable there and now four screws, remove those and we can put in our SSD. Um, assembly, same thing as before, reconnect the cable, fit the drive back in place screws in place, battery back in place and then just put the back panel in towards the front, press it down and then fold it towards the rear. Everything should clip in and when you screw it all down that should finish things up nicely. I hope you found this video useful and be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more and let us know if there's any other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Thanks for watching.